if there's one country that's been making headlines in the evolution of Bitcoin, we'd say it's El Salvador. Just recently on September 17, 2021, Bitcoin officially became legal tender in El Salvador, making it the first country to adopt the currency. And now they've taken extraordinary steps to address the problem of Bitcoin mining's energy usage. Have they just started mining crypto using clean energy from volcanoes? Well, we'll be getting to the bottom of this in a second. Meanwhile, welcome back to ICE, where you get to learn all the ins and outs of investing, e-commerce, and entrepreneurship. If it's your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and leave us a like below. El Salvador President Nayib Bukele tweeted on October 1st that his country has mined Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency, using energy from a volcano. He shared an image of the mining in progress, which showed 0.0059917 Bitcoin worth approximately $284 at the current trading rate. President Nayib Bukele, who has banked his political future on a nationwide Bitcoin experiment, tweeted on October 1st about El Salvador's maiden attempt to harness the energy of volcanoes to power Bitcoin mining. Just two days before revealing the news on his Twitter, the president posted a flashy 25-second teaser video which has since gone viral with more than 2.3 million views. The video simply captioned, First steps includes shots of a government-branded shipping container full of Bitcoin mining rigs, technicians installing and plugging in ASIC miners, as well as sweeping landscape areas of an energy factory in the thick of a forest bordering a volcano. Indicating that the mining project was still a work in progress, the president tweeted, We're still testing and installing, but this is officially the first Bitcoin mining from a volcano, which is what he proudly dubbed his mining volcano. El Salvador is known colloquially as the land of volcanoes, with 20 potentially active volcanoes that run the length of the country. As he pridefully calls his mining volcano, El Salvador is known colloquially as the land of volcanoes, with 20 potentially active volcanoes that run the length of the country. The Central American country receives more than 20% of its total energy from geothermal sources, according to the U.S. International Trade Association. Promise kept. If El Salvador is indeed mining a new coin, it will mean that the president has made good on his promise first announced in June. Bukele, previously the mayor of the capital city, San Salvador, first announced his plans back in June, sparking controversy and numerous protests in San Salvador. Protesters even took to the streets to oppose the government's plan to make Bitcoin a legal tender besides the US dollar. The president, a former businessman elected back in 2019, he tweeted that the state had been instructed to develop a plan for Bitcoin mining operations with very cheap, 100% clean, 100% renewable, zero emissions energy from our volcanoes. Bukele's bill was quickly approved by the Legislative Assembly three days after he introduced it. Athena Bitcoin has agreed to invest $1 million to install 1,500 cryptocurrency ATMs, which can exchange Bitcoin for US dollars or vice versa. But Apple and Huawei are not offering the government-backed digital wallet Chivo in their app stores, according to the BBC. Rejection from World Bank and scientists? While El Salvador is leaning into Bitcoin mining as an economic miracle, scientists and the World Bank have raised concerns about the environmental impact of the energy-intensive industry. The World Bank swiftly rejected El Salvador's request to help with implementing the new tender, citing Bitcoin mining's environmental and transparency shortcomings. We are committed to helping El Salvador in numerous ways, including for currency transparency and regulatory processes, a World Bank spokesman told Reuters. While the government did approach us for assistance in Bitcoin, this is not something the World Bank can support. It's hardly the first institution to raise the red flag about Bitcoin's environmental impact. Purchasing with Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies, which exist digitally through encryption, requires large amounts of electricity. Miners use specialty computers to solve complex mathematical calculations and generate a cryptocurrency coin. Around the world, warehouses or farms are crammed with these toaster-sized processors running day and night. Those farms produce as much carbon dioxide per year as all the cars in the UK combined enough to raise global temperatures 
by 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit within the next 15 years, according to a 2018 study from the University of Hawaii. That's enough to bring catastrophic droughts, flooding, and storms to regions across the globe. We cannot predict the future of Bitcoin, but if implemented at a rate even close to the slowest pace at which other technologies have been incorporated, it will spell very bad news for climate change, according to co-author Camila Mora. Clearly, any further development of cryptocurrencies should critically aim to reduce electricity demand. If the potentially devastating consequences of 2 degrees Celsius of global warming are to be avoided, but according to a recent report in the journal Resources, Conservation and Recycling, high energy costs aren't the only issue with Bitcoin mining. A single transaction generates 9.5 ounces of e-waste, the same as throwing away two smartphones. Because of the high demands on newly innovated computers that mine for Bitcoin, the devices have an extremely short shelf life, just 1.29 years. That makes for a lot of garbage, about 33,800 tons a year, which could likely increase as interest in cryptocurrency rises. If you want to learn more about Bitcoin mining and its profitability, be sure to watch our video on Is Mining Crypto Still Profitable in 2021? Also, if you're eager to see the world's greatest crypto mines, go check out our video on the biggest Bitcoin mines on the planet. On September 6, one day before it legally adopted the world's most popular cryptocurrency, El Salvador bought 400 Bitcoin worth about $20.9 million. The following day, when the policy went into effect, the price of Bitcoin plummeted to its lowest in nearly a month, from $52,000 to less than $43,000. The nationwide rollout via its Chivo crypto wallet, which is Salvadoran slang for cool, which offers no fee transactions and allows for quick cross-border payments, well, it had a bumpy road at the start. But the technical issues appear to have stabilized and the Central American country is moving ahead with its crypto experiment. This move saw the Central American country officially enter the first national experiment regarding the use of the often volatile currency, which is increasingly popular among many investors and speculators globally. The US dollar will remain the country's other principal medium of exchange. Nonetheless, El Salvador is not the first country to use geothermal energy to power Bitcoin. In fact, volcano-powered Bitcoin mining has been a thing for a while, with the likes of Iceland doing it since the very beginning of Bitcoin mining. It's just geothermal energy, said Bitcoin miner Alejandro del Torre, who recently made the move from China to Texas. The move by El Salvador is also a boon for the larger debate around Bitcoin's carbon footprint. A fully renewable, untapped energy resource has been put to work strictly because of Bitcoin, said Bitcoin mining engineer Brandon Arvanaji. According to him, Bitcoin is the greatest accelerant to renewable energy development in history. El Salvador's push illustrates why the most powerful benefits will likely accrue to renewable energy sources. They're generally cheaper than fossil fuel sources. To be precise, a volcanic power plant is in itself simple because you drill a few big holes in the ground and use the heat to drive turbines. Compare Iceland's Krafla volcanic power station, which resembles a red barn with a couple of tubes coming out, to the powering tangled monstrosity that is an average natural gas power plant. And you can see the cost savings with your naked eye. Some argue that this makes Bitcoin a potential driver of further renewable energy development, as laid out in the new documentary, This Machine Greens. El Salvador may likely become a case study, and if President Bukele follows through with his plan, Bitcoin could subsidize the development of a much greater proportion of the country's previously unused power resources. In the long run, not all of that new energy will go to mining Bitcoin. Nearby communities could also benefit, and other new industries could even grow from the availability of cheap, clean power. And that's where geopolitics comes in. El Salvador's immense supply of volcanic energy has never been fully harnessed for the betterment of the nation because of technological limitations. By making energy portable, Bitcoin has the potential to improve the economic standing of many nations with underutilized clean power resources. Guatemala, next door to El Salvador, has its own volcanic bumper crop. No surprise that nation too is thinking about Bitcoin. Okay guys, that's all for this video. Let us know your thoughts about the move by El Salvador to mine its first Bitcoin using clean energy from a volcano.
And most importantly, we'd also love to get your comments on what this could mean for Bitcoin and the crypto industry as a whole. Thanks again for staying with us till the end. We hope you enjoyed and found this video insightful. Don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button below. See you!